Welcome back to the Contributor Corner for Run Radio. Alex De Luca with the Italian Kitchen. You're going to talk to me about something I like a lot of. Bread. Bread is good. What do you know oh, about bread? Is bread is fantastic. Are you kidding? It's a, a delicious. It is. So I have a question for you. Okay. So try to guess how many different kinds of breads there are oh. in Italy. Oh my goodness. There are probably 50 plus. 250. 250 different kinds of bread? Different kinds, yes. And it goes from the shape to the mix to the flour that they use mm. to how long it rises. I mean, it's it's ridiculous. And every single region has its own bread. For really? me, oh yeah, for me that I'm from uh, Torino, Piemonte, we have la biova or la biovetta. The biova is just like a big piece, biovetta is a little bit more, il maggiolino. I mean, I grew up mm. you know, in maggiolino before I knew what a chair was called. I mean, maggiolino is everywhere. Or you go to Milano and they have a michetta. Mm. That is, that's okay, that's a little thing. La michetta is like, it looks awfully like the Kaiser rolls. You can find here. You know why? Why? Because the Austro Hungarian Empire was ruling over Milano until 1860. And okay. so they have this, just like the Wiener Schnitzel. Sorry, I, I'm digressing, but it's funny. The Wiener Schnitzel, there is this big slice of uh, meat with it's, we call it Milanese because they make it in Milano as well, because mm -hmm. it's the same cuisine, because they've been together for so many years that they develop the same stuff or they use the same stuff. Going back to the bread. So a Milano is a Michetta. You can go in uh, Bologna is a Mafalda. And everywhere you go, you find, oh, in, in Sicily, it's fine. There is a Cucidato. There is a round, there's a kind of a donut, but it's made with bread mm -hmm. and it's big. So every single one developed their own uh, recipe. One thing that is totally different here from there is that we use sugar in our bread, but it's just like a pinch that is used when it's used to reactivate the yeast. Okay. It's never the first or the second ingredient like here. I mean, here we have at the restaurant, we have to make our own bread. I cannot offer my customer my food with a bread that is sweet to begin with. Yeah. And I don't know when this kind of the, the recipe for bread got sweeter and sweeter and sweeter, but it's not right. I mean, be, be, besides the problem with your teeth, because all that sugar is not good for you, there are also a bunch of health problems that arise besides that. So no sugar in our bread or a little, little, little bit. So we have most of our bread is sourdough. Some of the bread is, is uh, salt free. So for example, you go to Tuscany and you have the, the bread that is without salt because it goes well with the stuff that they eat over there. All those salumi and stuff. That's Sounds it. great. Learn more about Italian Kitchen at runradio.net.